Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been quite some time since I've recorded anything for here and now I felt like it was the best time to record this particular video because as the title says, I am going to be shaving my face in this video and as you guys can see, it's been a while since I have and I think the last time I bleached my face was maybe 20 days ago so as you guys know I've said it time and again on my Instagram page as well that my facial hair really tends to get very 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 dark so today I'm finally going to be shaving it and I'm going to be recording the process to show you guys how I shave my face before I start off I just want to clear out some of the some of the myths basically that I sort of want to bust here in terms of shaving a lot of people avoid shaving especially when it comes to the face uh, because they feel like you know the hair growth sort of is um, it doesn't remain the same the hair grows out much darker and thicker but to be honest in my case at least this thing is absolutely not true I have not experienced an increase in my hair growth uh, since I've started shaving which I would say has been at least more or less a year and uh, I shave at least once a month and my hair growth has been more or less the same and uh, the texture of the hair is also literally the same nothing has changed with shaving honestly speaking and that's why I do like to shave uh, and then after Days I bleach my face. So, this is how I basically take care of my facial hair. Since I was really caught up the past entire month with exams and I really like wasn't going out because of like quarantine and all that. So, you know, I really do like feel like I really had to put in the effort. But now I finally have the time and I felt like this was the perfect opportunity for me to record this video and also. Uh, shave my face at the same time, of course, like obviously before together now. So, a few things that I do when I prepare before I start uh, bleaching my face I would preferably like to exfoliate my face before, like a day before, or like in the morning if I'm shaving, like at night. So, in the morning, I like probably, or the day before, I would exfoliate or use any uh, chemical exfoli exfoliant or whether it's like a proper scrub uh, right now with this I would like right now I have just um, uh, used the uh, wishful yoglo scrub and I just scrub my face with that I have my uh, razor here these are one of those I don't know what they're called I think they're called like twinkle or twinky or I, I, they have this one particular name I just call them eyebrow razors because I think that's what they were originally created for but yeah this is the uh, razor pretty basic pretty simple so around the eye uh, eyebrows area I tend to use a smaller one and for the rest of the face I use this one it's really convenient and uh, I don't like to shave my face when it's dry. I just it, it doesn't it, it hurts sometimes I would say. You know the hair kinda gets pulled if the, the the skin's not moist and like wet. So I for now like for uh, for moisturizing my face throughout the process of shaving, what I like to do is take a mist, any sort of hydrating mist, and I apply that on my face. And right now I am using this one from Adi Skincare uh, with Co Natural. I think this was the Adi Co Natural collab. And I got a few of these. And this one, the White Flower Hydrating Face Mist with Aloe Vera. A very basic, just to like, you know, keep the skin a bit uh, moist and wet while I'm shaving it. And uh, smells nice as well. I don't think I have reviewed this. I think I should very soon on my vlog. I've been using this for some time now, and uh, it's really it, it, I find it really good with uh, while I'm shaving, especially on like other occasions. In fact, I would uh, probably use the Caudalie uh, Beauty Elixir, and sometimes I make my own uh, mists with uh, rose water, and I'll mix probably like 
a few essential oils in them so that way I feel like um, that this can come handy if I'm either out of this one or the other one. So right now today I'm going to be using this uh, mist right here and I'll keep spraying it on my face while I'm shaving. This is the razor that I'm going to use. Well, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off with this side and I'm just going to take the mist and apply it here and start with shaving. So one thing that I like to do that kind of makes the entire process a bit easy as well is to hold my skin up and uh, then start shaving in the direction of the growth, not against. And another thing I forgot to mention earlier is that I like to keep a few cotton uh, swabs with me. So as soon as like the hair is shaved down, I can easily uh, remove it with the cotton uh, pad. So I've sprayed my face now and I'm just gonna start with shaving it down like I said it has to go downwards into space right there and make sure when you are shaving it just uh, keep the razor sort of flat now you see I hope you guys don't get disgusted by this because I have some top facial hair and it just comes off like that. So now again I kind of feel like the mist dried out so I'm just gonna spray a bit more. It's also very convenient to sort of put a towel or something like that on your lap so in case the hair falls down, in my case that it is, uh, it doesn't fall on your foot. So I tend to use the mist quite often because I really don't like um, shaving when my skin is dry. I have some crazy, crazy facial hair, so naturally you would see a lot of it swap itself. So you see my facial hair sort of grows all the way to my under eye, the one that's really prominent. So if I can't really hold it from here, I would still try and stretch it from below just to get that stretch just be very slow and gentle while you're shaving especially on around your eye in fact throughout the whole process just be slow there's no need to rush and like try to scrape your skin off honestly speaking so just be calm just be relaxed while you're doing it and just do not be in a rush because sometimes you know people either are in a rush so they might just like end up cutting themselves because there's always that risk so don't forget that Again around the lip area, you can just start to pull your lip in and stretch the skin from the side. So because you have a lot of curves on and around your face, it's really important while you're shaving to keep your, like, get your skin to be as flat as you can, so stretch it accordingly.
because it's really hard for me to go downwards in this direction. I'm kind of going a bit towards the off in the side. And once you're done with one side or a portion or a part, just rub your face and up strokes and see whether you feel a little fuzz still or not. And if your skin is feeling all right, it's not feeling itchy or red or anything like that, uh, you can go over the same area one more time. Now, if you have any broken skin or if you've got any um, pimples or anything like that, do not rub your razor over that area, please. Like you can either wait it out, wait out the period where you're gonna see that your pimple or your, your pimple bite goes away or if like your skin gets healed, only then uh, shave your face and use the razor. Otherwise, do not, do not scratch out your uh, pimple or any other abrasion or something that you might have. So I'm more or less done with this side and as you can see the difference. I mean I still haven't done this portion but you can see the difference with here and you can see how I still need to get rid of this. So I'm gonna start with the nose part and that can be a bit tricky again. So just try holding your nose out like that and going very slowly. You don't have to use the whole length of the laser. Just be very careful around the crease here. With the nose part, I kind of like to go in the opposite direction sometimes. So I can literally like get all the tiny tiny hair. I just want to point out that don't get worried about my skin areas getting red. It's only because I rubbed the cotton a bit too much to get the hair out. And another easy way to do that is if you wet your cotton pad before swiping it, swiping it, wiping it on your face uh, to remove the hair. And it's also because I'm compressing my skin, so that's why it's kind of getting red. But it's not burning me right now or it's not itching or anything like that so just don't want people to get alarmed. Also try not to spend too much time on one single area because you might not realize this but you are actually abrasing your skin in a way if you keep on uh, applying the razor on the same area of your skin so even if you feel like maybe there's some hair maybe just let it be perhaps but don't uh, keep applying the razor on the same area if you still feel like there's some hair maybe just once or twice try going in the opposite direction like right now I still feel like there's some fuzz over here and a bit over here so this is basically the center part of my cheek more or less my contour actually so yeah because you can even hear like something's getting shaved off 
as you can see over here there's a bit of hair that's actually shaved off once I've gone in the opposite direction but when you have the big hair it's better to first go in the direction of your hair growth and then move the other way you can get all the hair I don't want to touch my face too much also because I don't want it to get overly irritated for no reason so now I'm gonna do the forehead and then I'll finally come on to the eyebrows so as you guys have noticed I have quite a big forehead and because I sort of want my uh, hair to stay here like I don't want to shave this far off so that my forehead looks bigger so I kind of start from here and I just made this imaginary line around this area and from below it I start uh, shaving. So that whatever hair is around this area kind of gives a shadowed contour look to my forehead. And even though I don't have too much hair on my forehead but still. Now that I've reached the area of the eyebrows, I'm going to take a smaller tweezer. Um, I have this kit that I got from uh, Miniso and it's got this really really amazing uh, eyebrow razor. Uh, it's a full tweezer, scissor, spoolie set and the best part about this honestly is this tiny sized razor because this is the razor and I really like this especially because it's smaller so it works great Ooh. Yeah. so like I was saying because it's smaller uh, it works great around the area of the eyebrows and as you can see I tried to shave off whatever hair I could from the upper area. I'm not gonna give like the most perfect eyebrow shape right now. I'm not gonna do my eyebrows properly, but I'm just gonna clean off the extra hairs. So I'm still gonna let this lower part be a bit, and I'm just gonna uh, remove my Jimmy brow area. <laughs> Again, especially when you're around the eyebrows, just be very slow and very careful as you might not want to over shave. you can see I am peach fuzz free so now that I'm done with the uh, shaving part I'm just gonna wash my face with water I can ice it for a bit that's a choice you guys have or if you guys want to apply like mild serum uh, or like a nice moisturizer try to keep it light based for today because even though you might not feel it at that time but when you're shaving sometimes you know your skin can get these really tiny tiny micro lesions and abrasions that you feel if you apply you feel the burn if you allow, uh, apply any sort of um, toner with like 
some sort of acid in it so you might feel a bit of burn. Uh, I sometimes use glycolic, my glycolic acid toner after I have uh, shaved my face so that any dead skin whatsoever that's remaining uh, cleans off and just, I've also applied like a razor so anything any chance of any pimples or whatsoever forming can sort of just die down with applying the uh, glycolic acid toner but I do feel a few burns here and there uh, sometimes so maybe right now I won't be applying that I'll just wash my face with water and apply like a slight moisturizer and then I'm gonna see how this face looks in the morning and continue with the, my exfoliation with the toner and uh, try to get off with the dead skin and whatsoever then. So this is it for today guys. I hope you guys like this video because I really did enjoy uh, making this. And I just love how my face right now is completely like peachy fuzz free. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I will come up with much much more content and videos now on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram page as well since finally officially summer holiday has started for me and I'm done with my exams. So this one being first going up so far. I'm probably gonna do my eyebrows soon and then perhaps you know maybe record that process as well. I need to stop touching my face. Yep. So I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Please like this video, comment below, whatever you guys wanna tell me how you guys found this video. If you guys have any other questions regarding what products I use, uh, other products that I use during my shaving process, and how uh, else do I get rid of uh, my uh, peach fuzz. Don't forget to like this video, comment and share this video because I'm pretty sure there's so many girls out there who want to get rid of their uh, facial hair and are looking for different ways. There's so many, so many ways you can get rid of them. You can get laser done, you can wax. Some people thread, I don't know how we do that because I can't, I can't, I don't even thread my eyebrows. I do my eyebrows myself, I've never gotten them, gotten them done by anyone else. So. That's about it. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel again and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!